So with social media, Zoom meetings, and selfies, patients of all age groups, men and women, are worried about how the lower face looks. Hi, Dr. Raj here, board certified plastic surgeon based in Dallas, Texas. And if we focus on lower face, I'm talking about the chin, the jawline, the neck area. There are actually a lot of treatments out there to address these issues. And I wanna talk about some of the traditional surgeries and techniques and treatments that are out there and some of the things that are newer and even one that I've devised and I'm employing on my own patients. So let's talk about things that are more traditional. I think traditionally we had a few procedures that worked quite well. One is liposuction called submental liposuction, meaning that liposuction of the neck area and the jawline is performed to get rid of fat. But keep in mind, this procedure only works well in certain patients. It is good for people that have superficial fat. If they have other issues going on because the neck has a lot of layers and a lot of different things that can sag or become lax, it's not going to work well for that. Now, the other procedure that's always existed for many years is a face and a neck lift. This is a procedure or surgery that can be done under local anesthesia or general anesthesia, but it is a bit more invasive. It involves multiple incisions, but the purpose of it is to eliminate fat, reposition the soft tissues and the skin that have become lax over time. So it's tightening the deeper tissues and the skin um, in order to make this whole face and neck area look rejuvenated, look younger. But let's talk about some newer treatments and newer trends on the market that actually do work. Let's first go into filler. So injectable fillers have existed for quite a while, but a new thing that I think works beautifully for men and women is jawline filler. So when we're younger, we don't really want to do very invasive things like facelifts, but if we need to hide a little bit of jowling, uh, if we have a contour that's not perfectly well-defined or angular, jawline filler works great at giving a more angular contoured face and it works wonderfully. Uh, there are certain areas of the face where Botox is actually beneficial, like in the mental region here, if there are some fine lines, uh, also to lift the smile, injecting in the depressor angular aurus works well. So there is certain uses and benefits of using Botox. Another procedure that has become more popular recently is buccal fat pad removal. So removing fat in the anterior cheek to give a slimmer appearance um, actually does work well. That's a procedure that I even do in the office under local anesthesia. But the big thing that I want to talk about, which I do, I call it like a lunchtime neck lift. So in younger patients that have more than just superficial fat, they may have lax muscles, they might have deeper fat that needs to be removed, they might have certain structures like their gland or their muscle that's descended. Through a very small incision, either in the operating room under local anesthesia, I'm able to go in and remove excess fat and also tighten the structures of the neck to create a more defined jawline and neckline. And the nice thing about this is this is kind of in between full-on facelift surgery and liposuction. It's kind of in that middle ground for people in their 20s and 30s and 40s that see the earliest signs of aging where liposuction alone is not going to work. So they have to do something a little bit more than that to rejuvenate the neck and the jawline. Um, and you know, some of the pictures that I'll show uh, in this particular gentleman, you can see that with this procedure, it's such a major transformation when he underwent this procedure. If you'd like to learn more about this, uh, you can always comment or reach out to us, but hopefully this video gives you an overview of some of the traditional and the newer techniques that are out there for a neck lift. And uh, feel free to like the video and follow us for more great information on plastic surgery. Thank you.